Hi Nick, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Right, we're just about to come to the end of the one year full-time diploma course for you for 2017. Um, you've been here since September and you're about to graduate in July. We'll come back to that in a second. Tell me a bit about the year that you've spent here and some of the things that you've been up to. Yeah, so the course entails uh, six performances we've done, um, also our tour term, mm -hmm. and uh, classes such as like vocal class, movement class, um, stage combat and singing. Okay, so those run in parallel across the whole year, and then each term you pick up on production. So tell me a bit about the first production you did. Uh, first production we did was East, okay. I played the character of Dad. Um, that was quite fun, we had to learn a Cockney accent, so that was a new challenge. And whilst rehearsing East, you were also rehearsing Cabaret, the musical? Is that yeah, right? we did them in parallel. So. so to support the work on Cabaret, what sort of classes and uh, techniques did you explore? Well, we had Rhea come in, who's a singing teacher, right. so we had to learn singing. Um, there was a number of like musical uh, songs we had to perform, some of them solo, some of them in group. So that was kind of And there was some set. movement involved and dance and it was obviously set yeah. between the walls, wasn't it, Cabaret? Yeah, that was correct. Yeah, yeah. And and which what was the role you played, Ernst? I played Ernst, so he was the um, yeah, member of the Nazi party. Okay. So it was good to play a baddie. I think it's quite good to play someone who's different from your natural disposition, it's more Definitely. of a challenge, so that was quite fun. And then we moved through into the sort of spring term, which was the Shakespeare production, which... Oh yeah, yeah Tell me a bit about Macbeth and what was involved in all of that. Well, that was my first um, Shakespeare uh, Shakespeare production we've done. Mm -hmm. um, so that was quite fun and interesting, exploring the language, and actually, you know, that's kind of a big challenge, just to come across the language barrier and actually understand what it's about to begin with. So that involves stage combat, that involved working with the language and a number of performances over a period of time, is that correct? Yeah, we also got to do um, performances not just in the school but outside, we took it on tour, okay. we went to um, a couple of schools. So you had to set up and take down and, and go through the whole process yeah. of touring, so that kind of adds to the CV, doesn't it? Well, yeah, it's all a good experience really. Right. Not okay, just, good. You know, and then as you move through into that, did you, was there another production involved as well in that? Um, Silly Cow was that? Oh, right? Silly Cow, yeah, we did um, Silly Cow by Ben Elton. A comedy. So that was a, yeah, it was a good challenge as well because it's a comedy, something different. Mm -hmm. um, so I played the character of Douglas in that, mm -hmm. an accountant. And um, yeah, it's really fun doing a comedy. Again, it's like a new challenge, something different that we haven't mm -hmm. done before. Um, so yeah. And then as you moved into the final term, you're actually just at the throes of next week performing Gangster Number no. One and then moving into Musketeers. If I was to ask you, Nick, mm -hmm. if you were to pick a moment of this year, that really was a sort of watershed moment for you, what would that be? Um, I think playing Ernst actually, okay. it was the first baddie character I got to play, um, so I think it's kind of, I, like I say, it's nice to play a baddie because in real life you have to be, you know, it's like polite and manners and mm -hmm. be good, but when you actually get to play a baddie you get to kind of relish in it and really enjoy it, so I think, uh, and also I love the singing element of work as well okay. on there, so that was really So it was the fusion of all those things. Yeah. And as you move towards graduation, mm -hmm. um, Three Musketeers, a big challenge, uh, you're playing Cardinal Richelieu, yes? Yeah. Um, that's the week after Gangster number one, so yeah. it doesn't really let up, does it, for you? Not really, no. I think it's going to be quite an intense few weeks, yeah, okay. just back to back performances. So tell me a bit about the directing project, Nick, that you're just about to, that's sandwiched in between Gangster number one and Musketeers. So my scene's from the play Terrorism. Okay, that's right. Yeah, so it's about, um, the scene in particular is about a man and a woman who's having an affair. Okay. Um, so you get the opportunity to sit in the director's chair. Yeah, that's it. And make the decisions to, like in terms of blocking and how. The so in total, six productions, mm. audition work, some yeah. voice, some movement, some stage combat, and then sandwiched in between that is a mini directing project. Yeah, that's correct. What so, advice would you give anybody uh, who's thinking about doing a course like this? Uh, well, on this course in particular, I got some good advice off a previous student, and it was said, um, he said, go to the library and really research the monologues that you get before, because uh, the time in the course, it's so busy, you won't have time to get uh, monologues or research them or find them, um, and then that will give you kind of a catalogue to work from, so when you're in the course, you'll just find those monologues, and then you can use those for your audition panel. So and was just, that good advice? It was really good advice because you're really prepared and you know, like I say, when you're in the course, you're, when you're in it, it's so busy, you won't have time to do that. So I'd say prepare well for okay. it. Like and know what's day. coming. Yeah, know what's coming ahead of time. And if you put in the preparation, then it'll be, it'll be a lot e easier. It'll kind of make your life, life a lot easier. And then your hopes as you come towards graduation, towards uh, July, would be what? To look for work? Put yourself out into the mix? Yeah, well, I want to start um, auditioning for full-time, uh, you know, for acting work. 
Um, and then I want to start a, um, it's similar to the evening diploma course here, it's a course but in one of the London drama schools, yes. so it's just an evening course, a part-time acting training, also what to looking for work. Yeah, because I want to keep progressing and keep learning. So Okay, Nick. Yeah. Well, we do wish you the very best of luck with your uh, next three weeks, because it sounds rather busy, and then much more importantly as you head towards graduation. Thank you very much, Nick. Thank you.